Hi, I'm Brenda Walton. In my family, we all enjoy sending and receiving handmade cards and gifts. My dies for Sizzix make it easy for the crafters in your family to create something really extraordinary and to celebrate every day of the year. The packaging for the chandelier ornament shows that you're going to make these beautiful three-dimensional fanned ornaments with accessory pieces in the middle and the main ornament itself, which is very highly detailed. The die itself looks like this, and it has five different pieces, the center piece, an accessory piece, and the main ornament itself. And these can be used inside of the ornament, suspended inside as well as a star and a flower piece. Begin by die cutting 12 pieces of the chandelier ornament out. And I like to use about three different patterns. So I'd cut four of each of those three patterns and then individually fold them in half as precisely as possible. If you can really fold them so that the, side, the die cut sides match up as precisely as they can, you'll get the best looking finished product. So just continue on folding each one of those 12 sections in half. And after those are all folded, then apply glue to each one. And I like to use a quick dried glue and just a very thin strip on each one of those little detailed areas and it's really going to look beautiful. It is worth the time that it takes you to do all of this gluing. And place the next section on top and try to match that up as well as you can. And make sure that those two pieces are making contact all the way down to the very pointed tips and continue doing this until you have stacked all each one of those 12 pieces on top of the next. Now secure your 12 panels together using binder clips and this is a book binders trick which is really smart because it keeps all of your panels together while they're drying and keeps them from slipping apart or moving at all and you can let that just sit and not worry about it for about five minutes and when you come back and it's completely dry, remove the binder clips and then magically you can spread apart your, your panels and it will look beautiful. Sometimes you get a little bit of stickiness happening and just make sure that those get separated and then uh, separate them all so that they look really uniform and now you can do your little ornament piece. I chose a little flower piece and I cut eight sections out for this and I'm using exactly the same procedure for assembling it. Stacking one segment on top of the other and trying to match those up the best I can until I get down to the very last, the eighth section and then that looks really good and then I'm going to just clip the binder clip on that and let that dry for a few minutes and come back about five minutes later and the ornament itself is almost completely assembled except for the very last panel and the reason that I left it is because now I'm going to show you how to make an ornament a hanging ornament out of this so I lay in a little strip about 15 inches of metallic thread and then hot glue that into place just right along the, the fold line or the spine of the chandelier ornament and then pull that thread so that it's very taut and then let that dry completely and then position the little flower shape in place and then hot glue that one right down the center. And when that's dry, 
Then apply some quick dry glue, just a small amount, and then close up that flower. And clip that, and then let that sit for a few minutes. And I'm just waiting about five minutes and then coming back and making sure each one of those panels is fairly uniform looking. This is kind of my last opportunity to rearrange the panels on the smaller flower ornament. Now I apply a thin strip of the quick dry glue to each one of those little sections just on one side. And by this time now it's ready to close that up and complete the assembly of that ornament. And that looks spectacular. Look, look beautiful hanging from the tree.